So a friend of mine at work really needed a computer desk for her children, and I thought I'd help out. Oh, stop it. I'm just a man of the people, what can I say? So for something like this, I like to start off with just basic square lines, uh, and then I start having a play with a few different ideas. My friend really liked this curved design that I came up with, so I broke it all down, worked out the measurements, and got to work. So I call this a simple computer desk, and to be honest, simple is a relative term. What I mean by that is that you could almost use any material for this, and the joinery is pretty much just all butt joints, so you could make this with pocket holes, you could make it with dowels, dominoes, or even just screw it together and plug the holes. For my desk I've used this maple veneered MDF purely because I had a lot lying around and I didn't want to buy in any sheet material for this project. All the curves for the pieces are pretty much done the same way. I just find something that bends, use that to mark a line, cut it out on the bandsaw and then fine tune the curve with either the disc sander or a bobbin sander. Next it was time for some iron on edging. So these were all going to get painted afterwards but particularly on the curve sections this would give a much better finish with paint uh, on the end of the MDF. Next up it was the feet, so I used tulip wood for this, milled a couple of pieces to the right size, marked out a curve for the front edge and then went over to the disc sander to create the curved profile. I used the domino to get all the joinery sorted out, and then that was pretty much it really. This was quite an unusual sized desk. Uh, the space that it needed to go in was 1.3 meters wide, but it was only 400 mil deep. So at this stage, I decided to dry fit everything together just to take a look at the desk, make sure the proportions looked right, and it was all gonna work out. Okay, time to chuck some paint and varnish on it. So for the bottom section, I've gone for this cool marble color. Wait a second, does that say garden paint? And you've used that before, have you? Have you got some examples of that? To be fair, that last example was actually in the garden, but in all honesty I really like putting this stuff on furniture. It's got a very watery consistency, which means that it flattens out almost instantly and gives you a really smooth finish. Because it's meant for outdoor use, it's also extremely hard wearing, and being water based it dries very very quickly. I also find with these outdoor paints they have really modern colour ranges, and they're constantly being updated. Next, it was time to sort the top out, so I've gone with this Ron Seal Diamond Hard Floor Varnish. Because you never know when somebody might want to walk across the top of your desk. It's water-based, it goes on very easily, but what I really like about it is it's got this white ash pigment to it. If you don't like that horrible yellowing effect that you can often get with varnish, this stuff almost takes it to the opposite extreme. Because of the white pigment in the varnish, it almost looks a little bit like it's been whitewashed, but I like it because it's a lot more consistent and modern looking. Right, this must be the bit where we glue everything together now.
dart. This looks like a clever idea. So what I was doing here is I was putting double-sided sticky tape without removing the back onto the clamp because I didn't want to mark the paintwork. Clever, eh? Not at all. Don't ever do this. I found that the clamps slide about a lot and I've got a very right sticky mess left on the inside of my clamps now. A final bit of sanding of the top with some 400 wet and dry sandpaper and then I'm calling this one home and dry. Right, I can't mess about on this anymore, I've got so much work to get on with. See you next time!